A breaking news right now in Detroit, where an attempted robbery turns deadly at a barber shop. After the suspects barged in, one of the barber's clients pulled a gun and started shooting. Fox 2's Ron Savage live right now on Detroit's east side with the very latest. Ron. Monica Hewell here on the east side. You know that smock to hang over your shoulders to keep the cut hair from getting all over you? Well, what the bad guys didn't know is there was a 40 caliber surprise under that smock. Two guys walk into a very busy gents barbershop about 5.30 p.m. Friday night on Whittier at Strappen, Detroit's east side. One bad guy with a gun says, quote, you know what time it is. What the two bad guys didn't know is two customers were legally carrying handguns. The man in the chair getting a cut took advantage of pulling his gun under the cover of the smock. When one bad guy says, why you stalling, empty your pockets, he then fired a shot into the floor of the barbershop. That's when the customer in the chair opened fire and emptied his automatic clip containing multiple rounds. Three children were also standing behind the barber chair. That same customer took his unarmed hand and swept the three children to a safe spot out of the way against the wall. The end result, none of the customers or children are hurt. One bad guy killed. The other bad guy ran off during the shooting. Police say the deceased has a long rap sheet. He was currently out on parole for an armed robbery conviction. Detroit police want us to circulate this information on the other guy they're looking for that was trying to rob the place between 22 and 30, six feet tall, thin, black male, scruffy hair, white t-shirt, wearing blue shorts. They were driving a stolen van, not yet reported stolen when they parked here in front of the barbershop. The other bad guy left that van here, so he ran off. Both these guys have west side addresses. Why were they here? Well, uh, police are speculating this barbershop was advertised recently on Detroit. Detroit radio stations is one of the most successful in Detroit, and maybe the bad guys, they think, thought they had some money here and it was a good place to come, but it turned out to be a very bad place for the one dead bad guy tonight. We're live on the east side. Ron Savage, Fox 2 News.